Guys, all of you must have seen the videos of skydiving on the internet, in which skydivers jump from a height of about 10 to 15,000 feet with the help of parachutes. You must be thrilled to see skydivers jumping like this, as well as many questions will come in your mind about it. And the most important question among these questions is, how do parachutes work? So come on, because this is what we are going to tell you in this video. Before we all know the working of a parachute, it is very important for us to know the history of parachute. Because the parachute we are seeing today was designed centuries ago. You will be surprised to know that the credit for making the world's first parachute goes to Leonardo da Vinci. But when it comes to the first jump made with the parachute, the design of the parachute was changed from triangle to round shape. However, if you see today, most military parachutes are round in shape. Whereas the parachutes used in sport are rectangular in shape, which are made from nylon. When you toss a ball in the air, the ball always falls on the ground and this is because the gravity of the earth pulls everything towards it. Most of you have always heard in your school that the gravity of the earth is the same everywhere. Due to which, if you throw a heavy stone and a light feather down from a very high building, then the gravity will be at the same rate on both. However, this will be possible only when there is no wind on the earth. Otherwise, it is not possible in the presence of air and this is because the air resistance will work on the wing which will bring it to the earth at a very slow speed. Now you must be thinking that what is air resistance and for what reason does it happen? Guys, air resistance is a force that, that arises due to air. This force works in the opposite direction due to which any object can float in the air. Wind and air might not be visible but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Earth's atmosphere is filled with gas molecules. So, if you want to move the air by any means, you have to get them out of the way. You have to get it out of your way. We can notice all this only when we are speeding. We can notice all this only when we are moving with speed. Air resistance works on us in much the same way as water pushes our body upside down while swimming in the pool. If you jump off a diving board or do a belly flop, the odd shape of your body creates a lot of resistance and will greatly prevent you from falling too fast in the water. But if you make a sharp pointed shape with your arms and dive, your body will easily cut through the water and keep going faster as you enter the water. One thing is clear from all this that when you jump in the water, then your body slows down rapidly because at that time, the water cannot come out so fast. But when you dive, then you're able to keep the water in your body. But when you dive, then you're able to keep the water in your body. The front is easily cut so that our body can easily glide through it. We also need the same slowing down effect. If you jump from a plane without a parachute, then your compact body swings in the air like a stone and falls down with speed. But when you jump from a plane with a parachute and open your parachute in the air, then you create more air resistance and very slowly reach the ground safely, just like a wing. When the force pulls something, it makes that thing move faster, so that the thing gains more speed. Do you know that gravity, like other forces, accelerates a falling object only up to a certain point? That if you jump down from a plane, then you should fall down with a speed of 10 meters every one second. But if you're very high above the ground, then after just 100 seconds, you will theoretically be falling down at a speed of 1000 meters per second, which would be very fast. However, this does not happen during practice, because during practice, when you jump from a plane, then only after about 12 minutes you reach that speed, where the force of air resistance increases so much that it balances the force of gravity. Hardly you are aware that there is no net acceleration on you while coming to this and that is why you keep falling down with a steady speed, which is called your terminal velocity. Well, unfortunately, the terminal velocity of a person falling from a plane flying at a very high altitude is about 55 meters per second, which is also so fast that it can kill a human being. After knowing all this, now the next question arises that after all, how much can a parachute slow us down while falling? Now, as you must have understood that a wing falls slowly from a height as compared to a stone, because its terminal velocity is less, something similar happens to us while jumping with a parachute, because it increases the air resistance. In today's time, parachutes are designed in such a way that they reduce your terminal velocity by about 90%, due to which you slowly move towards the ground and during that time, your speed is about 5 to 6 meters per second which is enough to land you on the ground safely. Have you ever thought that what would you do if a parachute did not open while landing? Well, you don't even need to worry about this as a parachute backup doesn't just have a single parachute but has three parachutes. One of which is a reserve parachute which is maintained and packed by a certified sky dive rigger. Today's parachutes have automatic activation device which is a kind of enclosed computer. You would be surprised to know that when your main parachute does not open until you reach a certain altitude, this computer automatically opens the reserve parachute. Well, you do not need to panic in this too because this type of mal this type of malfunction is very rare. According to the companies making parachutes, 
according to the companies making parachutes. Apart from all these things, another thing that plays an important role in the working of the parachute is the size of the parachute. Yes, the slow fall of the parachute matters the most on its size. In simple words, if your parachute is small, then it will land you on the ground very soon. But if your parachute is very big in size, then it will come down very slowly because the bigger the parachute, the more there will be air resistance or drag force. However, the size of the parachute depends on the weight of the person or object. Because a smaller parachute cannot be used for a heavy person or object. Otherwise, it will change its working and you will come down faster than a lighter person. So guys, this is a, another uninteresting video full of knowledge. Thanks for watching. Bye.